playoff LeBron, he's here, as promised. Uh, 33 points, 10 assists. It was his third game with his 30 point and 10 assists game this season. Now, the King wins the first meeting with Anthony Davis since the trade request. AD playing just 20 minutes, was given a nice standing O by LA Max when yep. he was introduced. I know you like that. How do you feel about the Lakers after this win? I'm disheartened as a Lakers fan. Why? This is a must-win game against a weak Western Conference opponent. It is an absolute must-win game. Every celebrity on earth was courtside. Like, yeah. everyone came out to see this game. You know why? Because they're like, all right, Lakers are going to get a win here. You know, yeah. AD is in town. Maybe he'll be a Laker. And LeBron knows he's got to turn it on. Stephen A. Smith's on TV the day before. LeBron is going to be, a, you know, the playoff LeBron and everything. And everyone's there. AD doesn't even play in the fourth quarter. Yeah. And damn it, I'm trying to go to sleep last night. I, there was a lot of basketball on. I'd mm -hmm. seen enough basketball. It was time to get some sleep. Got to get up early in the morning. The Lakers wouldn't let me go to sleep. Like, can you, can, oh, oh, it's an eight point lead. Could it be double digit? No, no, oh, it's a one point lead. Oh, now you're down a point. All game like this, until late in the fourth quarter, they still couldn't do it. Hold up, time out, Lakers. LeBron's playing out of his mind. You're against a weak opponent. Their superstars and play in the fourth quarter, and you can't put these dudes away in a must-win game? I don't feel good about that. I don't feel bad about it. And the reason I don't feel bad about it is because I saw the Brandon Ingrams, the Kyle Kuzmans of the world being aggressive. I saw uh, Rondo reinserted into the starting lineup and registered 16 assists. And LeBron spoke after the game talking about how high his basketball IQ is, his ability to get everybody involved, his willingness to be aggressive, which wasn't the case before. And so I'm really, really happy about that. Now, obviously, they got Milwaukee coming up next week. They got the Clippers, the Nuggets, and the Boston Celtics at home yeah. at the Staples Center. So by the, by next Saturday, this season could officially be on. I, I think it's, two four, of those. it's fourth or fifth hardest remaining schedule. Yeah, I don't have the yeah. stat in you know, front of me. Uh, they, got they got like got 21 games. Stretch. They got 21 games left. Only seven are against sub 500 teams. Yeah. They got to show up. And so to me. I just took, you know, my attitude, get a win any way you can last night. And you saw LeBron being aggressive and looking healthier. Uh -huh. And that's really going to be the key because he's going to have to carry them. You said something I think is actually the key on the low for the Lakers. What? Not only for them to make it to the playoffs, because these are all playoff games now for the Lakers, really. Yeah. But to make a run in the playoffs. It's Rondo. It's not LeBron. We know LeBron's going to ball in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. What people, when you sleep on the Lakers... It's because you look at that team, you go, that's LeBron minus any other All-Stars. These kids aren't ready. And Rondo in the regular season, a lot of times, not even a good player. But in the playoffs? But in the playoffs, Special. Yeah. Rondo is an All-Star. That gets is an All-Star caliber mentality. player. Yeah. So, he shows up. So, and by the, you started to see, I'm glad you brought up, you started to see a little sneak peek of it yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. LeBron does have an All-Star for the playoffs if they can make it there, and that's the sleeper, Rondo. And, and, and with the way Ingram and Kuzma have been playing, I'm talking about in terms of their efficiency, and Bullock hitting threes. Yes. He's been doing Ooh, that as well. Sharp this is a, I mean, yep. the guy can shoot that's now. That's a big pickup. So that's, yep. that's a big pickup for them. These are going to be important. You know, I, I'm sorry. I Let said, I keep yeah. saying the reinforcements never came, the cavalry yeah. never came. Bullock is a sharpshooter, yes, and they is. needed it. Let me ask you this. Anthony Davis didn't play in the fourth. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. The, 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 it's, it's embarrassing. It's not a good look for the league. Yeah, what? Uh, the Why North, are they doing the, that? Because the Pelicans are of the mindset, we're about to move him. We're not going to do anything to jeopardize his value. It's utterly ridiculous. If you're going to play him, play him. Uh, for Anthony Davis to be on the bench in the fourth quarter of any game, he had 22 points in 21 minutes. He had yeah. 22 and 8 in 21 minutes. He had 8 this rebounds. Is what, this is the that's yeah. 22 and 8. This is what he does. Yeah. All right, in 22 minutes. So basically, Max, I mean, he usually averages about 37, 38. So you're talking about him probably ending up with about 35 or 40 last night, about 35 like like 30, 35 and 15 easy. Yeah. That's what it would have been. He's sitting on the bench. And I want and listen, even though he 14 point listen, swing with even, him. Even though I even though bench. I didn't like I don't like the fact that he put himself in this situation by wanting to be traded 10 days before the trading deadline. I want to applaud the class in which he's handled everything. He's on the bench. He's active. He's trying to encourage the guys. He's talking to them about what's transpiring on the court. It's a damn shame that the Pelicans are choosing to handle it this way. And I th and I'm not blaming Alvin Gentry. This is not his call. This is clearly being forced upon him as well, which I think is a disservice to him. And it's a disservice to the game of basketball. It's embarrassing what's going on here with Anthony Davis. It really is. Whatever is going on in New Orleans needs to get fixed. 
this is worse than a rest day. A rest day, you just don't see the dude, right? Yeah. Like, it doesn't mean they have not even traveled with the team. But if you show up with AD, one of the best players in the game, particularly when there's all that interest in LA, and as I mentioned, every celebrity in the world's on the game, it's nationally mm -hmm. televised, and it's a tight game down the stretch, and the visual of your superstar, healthy, sitting so, on the sitting bench, it's worse After than a After just playing game. the first three. And by the way, they took him out with four minutes, right. four plus minutes in the third quarter. In the quarter. third quarter. In the it, third quarter. It, and it was never, it was always within single digits. It's worse than a rest day. And, uh, and, and, and a lot has been made in the last several months of the training staff in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. The owners of the Pelicans are the same owners as mm -hmm. the Saints. They use the football training staff for the, for the basketball team mm -hmm. to save money. Wow. And that's why they've lost more player minutes to injury than any franchise in recent years, and they continue to do so. He's right. How the, can there you is do something that? either I think maybe At the owner should level. be forced to sell the team. Like this, whatever is going well, on, I will say this. whatever's going on in New Orleans needs the to league, get fixed. The league is monitoring the Pelicans very, very closely mm -hmm. because the league recognizes that they're not being adroitly run. All right, the fact is, is that you basically double dip it because you're running a football team, but you also have a little basketball team and you're not prioritizing. That's a point that cannot be ignored. We need to make sure that we pay attention to that because they definitely, definitely need to do something about it. But the Anthony Davis situation is an embarrassment. It should be tolerable. I'm of the mindset the New Orleans Pelicans, because of what they're doing, they shouldn't even be charging fans to come to their games at the Smoothie King Arena. It should fans should actually love the Smoothie King. Fans, the, the smoothie. You get free fans, Smoothie King. Fans, fans yeah. should actually at least if not if not free, they should be they should pay half price because you're giving them a half-ass product. That's yeah. what you're doing. Yeah.